Hi guys and welcome to another WP Forms Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in one of our last videos we just created this simple form here and showed you how to send it and set it up. We did that by just selecting simple contact form from our WP Forms dashboard here. Today we're going to add some checkboxes and a drop down and apply a bit of conditional logic. So let's go into our fields for our form. Here's the form that we created. And over here, we've got add fields, which is where we are at the moment. Let's add some checkboxes. So I'm going to simply left click, drag this over and put it where I want it. I'll put it under my subject line here. Now I'm going to left click on it again. and It'll open up the options here. Now for the label, I'm going to say, how may we help you? And for the first choice here, I'm going to say, I know what department I want. For the second one, I have a general question. And for the third one, I'm going to put, I am not sure. And as you can see, it's put our little three check boxes up here. You can put a description in for this field if you want one. We really don't need one at this point. I will make it required. Now let's go down to advanced options randomize the choices if you want it'll put them in different order when it loads you can choose to have it on one column which is fine by me like that two columns not going to work for what we've got going on here three columns if you want to stretch it across your page but for me one column is going to do absolutely fine now you can set the choice limit you can let them check one two or three i just want them to check one of these so I'm going to simply put in the number one right here. And if you want to hide the label altogether, just check that little box. We don't need a CSS class. If you want to learn how to customize these forms with CSS, have a look at our previous videos. So I'm happy with that. So let's go back to our add fields box up here. And I'm going to add a drop down. So let's go back up to the top. And here's our drop down. And I'm going to put it just below our checkboxes there. And again, just left click on it and it'll allow, allow you to edit it. And for the title, I am interested in. And for the first choice, I'm going to say computers. Second choice, I'm going to say networking. Third choice, servers. And let's add one more, let's say software. And as you can see, we've got this in our drop downs over here. Okay, again, you can put a description if you want to. I really don't want to. I'm not going to make it a required field because I'm going to add some conditional logic in a moment that says if they select this one or this one, this field will appear. If they select this one, they're not going to see this field. So if I have it as a required field and they select this one, it's going to throw up an error. So I'm going to go down. Let's have a look at the advanced options size let's make it large placeholder text well it's a drop down so i don't really want placeholder text for this i can hide the label but i want them to see that and let's go down to conditionals just below click on it and roll down and hit check the enable conditional logic button 
Okay, show this field if, or you can choose to hide this field if. I'm going to leave it on show this field if. Now this one's called how may we help you, so I'm going to select that. If the how may we help you field is, I know what I, department I want. So we can send them to this then. Let's add a new group. Same one. How may we help you? And if I'm not sure, well, we'll show them this one as well because that might make them sure. And we'll say, I am not sure. That's pretty much it. We're good to go there. Let's save our changes and go back to our form and see what we've got. Refresh the page. Now, as you can see, We've got our little checkboxes here, but we haven't got our drop down options. So when they select, I know what I, department I want, it appears. And they can select whichever one they want to select. If they select, I have a general question, it still doesn't appear because they can just type their general question in below. If they select, I'm not sure. There it is to jog their memory. So that's a basic introduction to conditional logic. WP Forms is really fantastic. It's so easy to use, as you can see. And if they try and select more than one, you have exceeded the number of allowed selections because we put in the number one for the allowed checkboxes. If they take that one away, it's gone again. So there you have it really easy to set up. I've worked with a lot of forms uh, in my web development career and this is one of the easiest to use. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.